All right. First off, Kalalal Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Moonstone. Citations that Akim out there pushing his word in all sincerity and not truth. This is Brother Kabash coming at you again from the GMS Kings in Jamaica camp. And this lesson is going to be, you know, um, sort of based off on, you know, a, a lesson that was done by, um, by another brother recently um, that was in response um, to this article that says uh, it was posted in thefederalist.com. It says hundreds of transgender people want to go back to their birth sex, says formerly trans woman, right? And, you know, I'll, I'll go into another article again, you know, that's speaking about the same thing, right? But pretty much what's being um, shown here, right, is that the witchcraft, you know, that, that Mr. Babylon the Great, which is America, you know, and her allies have been pushing, right, is, is, is totally against nature, right? It's totally against nature. And people are discovering that it's inconvenient to follow the, the, um, the, 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 the philosophies of this, 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 um, this current society, oh. Right? People are realizing that it's against nature for you to decide to choose, you know, to change your gender. Right? People are realizing that there, there, are, there are numerous negative effects, not just physically, but, you know, um, um, spiritually and psychologically as well, yo. Right? It, it has been proven, you know, and shown many times that the highest suicide rate, you know, um, among any demographic is among transgender people. Right? And that's because a lot of them, right, realize that the so-called gender dysphoria that they were experiencing, you know, would not go away or has not gone away when they, when they went through their, um, their, their gender reassignment surgery. They realized that they still feel fucked up, right? They still feel the same way that they did before, right? And that it didn't answer any of the questions, yo. And a lot of times, you know, the, these, are, these are very young kids who don't even understand themselves, yo, or don't even understand the way the world works, you know, but Aesop pretty much just pushes them you know, into this idea that, you know, yeah, you can choose your gender and embrace your confusion, you know, embrace your uncertainty and, and one bugger nonsense, yo, right? Before, before the person ever really gets to have an idea or develop an identity of self, right? You're being forced into this, uh, into this transgender mindset, yo, right? Because even, even homosexuality, um, tran transgender, uh, transsexualism, you know, um, all these different things are being forced on our children, yo, right? And they are, they, they are being forced to think that it's normal. They are being forced to think that it's an, it's an answer to their confusion that they, they may have at a young age, which they label as gender dysphoria, but really and truly what it is, is lies, right? And people are discovering that it is lies, yo. Let's get into the article, we'll read a bit of it. It says, at age 17, Charlie Evans lived as a boy, binding her chest and shaving her head. A decade later, in 2018, she publicly stopped being transgender. In the years since then, she's been contacted by hundreds of transgender people looking to do the same. She recently told the United Kingdom Sky News. The people contacting her tend to be around their mid-twenties. They're mostly female and mostly same-sex attracted and often artistic as well. Right? Showing you that a lot of them are, 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 are mentally are, um, challenged, though. Right? Not properly mentally developed, not properly emotionally or socially developed, but being forced to go into a particular uh, uh, mindset. Yo. Right? In the past decade, the United Kingdom has seen a 4,500% increase, and that's not a typo, in girls identifying as transgender. Why? Because it's being pushed, yo. Right? That witchcraft, that, that, that idolatry, right? that message, that vibration is being pushed out there yo, through the media, you know, through the um, through, through 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 education, through music, you know, through um, through entertainment, all these different things are being pushed through social media. So this this vibration is is on the, the, the population, yo. Which is why people have have been increasingly choosing to be transgender, yo. Right. This this is not the the um the the, the natural what you call it um evolution of thinking of a population. No, these things are socially engineered, yo, by the higher ups. Right? It says um, Brown University last year tried to repress the first major study looking into rapid onset gender dysphoria as a social contagion, right? That seems to be uh, affecting especially girls. Why is that? Right? There's a reason why uh, uh, um, the serpent went to Evio, right? Females are easier to, um, to, 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 to deceive, right? It says after a recent public talk, Evan says a young woman with a beard approached her saying she also was working on returning to living as her birth sex 
this young woman said she feels shunned by the LGBT community for being a traitor. So I felt I had to do something. That, and that's crap, yo. Right? So just because you, you want to know, return to your natural state, which you done messed up already. Right? You're being shunned by the LGBT community. Why? Because they only push abomination, yo. Right? They only push you to go, to go toward the, um, the, 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 the left side, yo. Right? So it says, um, Evans is starting a UK charity, the Detransitioning uh, Advocacy Network. Um, that's pretty much it. We, we don't really have to read much about that. Right? We can, uh, I can post the article in post-production. Brothers can read it. Um, this lesson, this other article here is from RT. And it was posted seven hours ago. Updated seven hours ago. So that was yesterday. Right? October 14th, 2019. It says, it's an assembly line. Detransition man says, parent... Parents encouraging kids to become transgender are guilty of child abuse. And I second that, st that sentiment, yo. That's absolutely right, yo. That's absolutely right. Let's get into the article. It says, a man who lived for eight years as a trans woman before this transitioning has called out the child abuse from adults who encourage transgenderism in kids, saying it's an abhorrent interference in their natural development. Right? Born male Walt Hare, or Hare uh, began transitioning to female at 42 years old. He lived that way for eight years before realizing he had been a victim of childhood abuse and began the process of returning to his birth assigned gender. In an explosive interview with controversial conservative host Candace Owens, Hare to retold the story of his troubled childhood, how his grandmother sparked gender confusion by encouraging him to wear a purple dress at the age of four, and how he suffered sexual abuse at the hand of an uncle as a direct result. The consequences of grandma affirming me became very destructive. I think it's actually evil. And that's right, yo. I think it's actually evil and it's child abuse to indicate that you can change genders at such a young age or any at all, yo. Right? And I'm speaking from 74 years of experience, so it's not like I just came to this conclusion. Today, they call it gender dysphoria, but really, it's just child abuse. Right? If confused, it confused my identity of who I was the seed that was planted and the destruction had started. Hare believes that the idea of gender dysphoria is introduced to children by adults and that a person is not born to it. Right? To encourage, it creates an abhorrent early sexualization of the child. Right? He says, um, he now runs a website for those who regret transitioning and publishes books and articles on the subjects. He believes that there's a misconception that transgenderism has become has something to do with being gay. But, but claims that 95% of the people who he speaks to about wanting to detransition are not gay. In fact, he adds, a desire to transition is usually a band-aid for something else, often abuse, right? Which makes the person not want to be who they are. It's a way to escape, and this is where disassociation comes in, or dissociation, right? It's a mental disorder, yo, that you, you, you're you exacerbating or you, you're making worse, right? By telling them, that they can choose to be a different gender, choose to be someone or something else. You don't want to be who you are, so you attempt to be someone else, and you don't want to be who you are, but because you got hurt, something bad happened to you, right? So let's bring out a few pre precepts and just leave it at that. This is Rip. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. It says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he will not depart from it, right? If you teach a child as young as age three or four, right that you have the that they have the ability to choose their own gender right then that that child is going to be destroyed as the article said yo matter of fact i believe there's somewhere in one of these um articles that says that there's um there's an actual state in the united states that um that that federally funds you know um transitions for um for girls well not girls but any young people right forgot who they were see if i can find it here it was in one of these articles i believe can't really find it yeah but there was a state you know that pretty much um ah here we go let me read from this this um paragraph here it says this this is from the first article it says this sudden and explosive growth in transgender identification has happened both in the uk and in the u.s as Rene Gardner notes, the first gender clinic in the U.S. opened in 2007 in Boston. As of 2016, October, um, states, states there are no more than 60 um, clinics for gender, um, for gender reassignment or whatever. 
He says the state of Oregon now offers taxpayer paid sex change surges to children as low as 15, right? So they don't have to pay to do these sex change surges and they get them as low as 15 with no parental notification. So, so you, you will not even be notified that your child is undergoing or, or thinks they want to undergo chain, sex change surgeries, yo. And Oregon health providers are immune from liability from, for acting against parents' objections in good faith, right? Tell me, if this society is not wicked, yo, if this society is not really not Mr. Bubble and the Great, yo, and if this is not witchcraft, yo, right? Deceiving children into thinking that they, they, they can be something that they're not, yo. A U.S. researcher recently did a study that confirmed that at least two 13-year-old girls and five 14-year-old um, 13 year old girls have been, have been given double mastectomies right, as a result of identifying as transgender. Yet a recent review of the research are only available on this topic that only a minority of children who experience cross-gender identification will continue to do so into, an adel into adolescence or adulthood. Right, because what? The growth of it, yo. Unless, unless you, 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 um, you, you pretty much um, foster it in them, right? So let's get back to the precept. Proverbs 22 and 6, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he will not depart from it, right? Nahum chapter 3, verse 4, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, which is America, Mr. Babylon the Great, right? The great U.S. of A, right? The mistress of witchcraft that selleth nations to her whoredoms and families to her witchcrafts. Right? And, and transgenderism is a witchcraft, yo. Right? Behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts. I will discover thy skirts upon thy face. I will shew the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. I will cast abominable filth upon thee and make thee vile and will set thee as a gazing stock. Right? And ultimately, America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire, by their allies and by their enemies, yo. Right? Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai. Right? This is Isaiah 24, verse 10. The city of confusion is broken down, which is America, yo. Right? Babylon, the word Babal, which we'll get into, means confusion, yo. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. Revelation chapter 18, verse 1, And after all these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hole of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, which being a transgender is a part of that, that wine, you know, right? And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies, right? And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues, right? That's when the, the, those chariots, you know, are going to come, you know, to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel, you know? Right? So that, so that what? The elect don't partake of the thermonuclear destruction that's coming. It says, For her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her according to her works. In the cup which she has filled, filled to her double. How much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. For he, she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, and I'm no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death, mourning, and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. That's thermonuclear fire from those ICBM missiles, yo. For strong is the Lord Yahweh that judgeth her. All right? If we look up the word Babylon here in the Greek, right? It says um, the capital of Chaldea, literally or figuratively, a type of tyranny, right? And it says what well, Babylon equals confusion, right? And if you go down to definition C, it says allegorically. Right, which means metaphorically, of Rome, right, as the most corrupt seat of idolatry and enemy of Christianity, which America, you know, is the is the um the revival or the second level of the Roman Empire. Yo, America is his is heading that B system that is the the revival of the Roman Empire, right. So it's, it's showing you who he's talking about, yo, right. They are the, they are the main enemies of this truth, right. So that's pretty much what I want to bring out. Right again, Kalal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash, forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. Shalom.